Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to bring you another edition of Sparky vs. the Pros. I traditionally do a Sparky vs. the Pros competition each year sometime after the ideal national championship. The idea is to pit myself against the very best and see how it turns out. After the previous championships, I, quote, competed, unquote, against Greg Anlicker and Michael Fox in an EMT bending competition. Greg and Michael are professional electricians, and they are some of the very best competitors. In fact, Greg went on to win the entire competition that year and received 75 grand for the victory. I'll put a link in my video description for that video if you'd like to see it. Of course, I wasn't in the actual competitions. I was there taking video of the events so that I can report about them to you viewers. But the past is the past, and now it's time for Sparky to see if he can, quote, compete, unquote, in a competition from the most recent ideal national championship. This is going to be a wiring competition. Sparky will take on the three-time first place winner, Greg Anlicker. Greg is on the left of the screen and Sparky is on the right. The competition will be to install two GFCI protective receptacles in a two-gang exterior box. The GFCI receptacle must protect the standard receptacle. Then an extra-duty weatherproof cover must be installed. I'll explain real quick that the line wires, that's the wires that bring the electrical current into the box, are going to be hooked up to the line terminals of the GFCI. And from there, we'll make pigtails that hook onto the load area of the GFCI, and they go over to the standard receptacle. And here we go. Both Greg and Sparky are going to start off by working on the grounds. And we got connectors. Uh, Sparky has a lever nut and Greg is using something called an ideal push tail. It has four connection points. So he's putting a ground wire into the push tail and he puts the other end of the push tail and then he's cutting that and then he's stripping off ends off of those green wires and he'll put one hook on one of the green ground wires. Now over here on Sparky's side, he's working on his pigtails. He's hooking up the pigtails to the GFCI load area. He has a white pigtail and a black pigtail, and he puts them just where he needs them. You see the white goes to the left and the black hot wire goes to the right. And now Sparky is hooking up the line wires to the line area of the GFCI. And now we look over here to Greg. He's putting those pigtails on the standard receptacle. And now he's putting the ground wire on the standard receptacle. See, there's a difference here. Greg put the pigtail on the standard receptacle, and then he's going to bring it over to the GFCI. Sparky put the pigtail on the GFCI, and he's going to bring them over to the standard receptacle. And now Sparky's putting the ground wire from the standard receptacle into the lever nut. Greg has put his ground wire on his GFCI and now he is attaching the line wires, that's the wires that bring the current into the box, he's attaching the line wires to the line area of the GFCI. He's just taken off the yellow tape that covers up the load terminals and now he's putting the hot pigtail from the standard receptacle to the load area of the GFCI and Sparky is putting the hot pigtail onto the brass color terminal of the standard receptacle. And now Sparky is going to be putting some black electrician's tape around the receptacles. And here comes Greg. He has ideal armor bands to put around his receptacles. Both the tape and the armor bands are used to protect the terminals to keep them from shorting out against each other or against the metal box. This competition is amazingly close. After all of this wiring, they're basically at the same stage. They're using different products, they're using different techniques, 
but they're at the same stage. Okay, Sparky has just finished taping his receptacles, and now he's going to work at dressing the wires, pushing them back into the box carefully, and now he's going to pull out a tool called a volt claw. That little tool was invented by uh, one of Sparky's friends, Warren Tarbell. He actually makes those tools in Torrance, California, if you can believe that. Okay, now Greg is pushing his wires into the box, and now he's going to be screwing the receptacles into the box. Sparky is taking quite a bit longer to get those wires in place, get the wires dressed, and he wants his receptacles to be almost where they need to be in the finish before putting on the cover. Okay, he's got them just like he likes them. And Greg is screwing in his screws. He's screwing the receptacles onto the exterior box. Now Sparky's gonna be putting on the special longer screws into the box. These are the ones that come with the weatherproof cover. These are not the screws that come with the receptacles. And that's the way he wants to do it. He's going with those longer screws. Whereas Greg is using the screws that come with his receptacle. And now Sparky is once again working at the positioning of his receptacles. He likes it just like that. And here comes the cover. Watch the cover. It slides on and there you go. Okay, so he's got all four screws into place and now he's gonna use a DeWalt 12 volt impact driver to screw down the screws, not all the way, but most of the way. And Greg is a little bit of a disadvantage here in that he had to take his weatherproof box out of the package and he's got a lot of different options there. There's a lot of different pieces and he's uh, getting it the way he wants as Sparky's uh, screwing down the screws with the impact driver. And now Sparky's gonna take his screwdriver and tighten up these screws the rest of the way he got it most of the way with the impact driver. He's going to finish it off with the screwdriver. Okay, now he's going over the reveal. That is, he wants the receptacles to align perfectly. He has his receptacle tester in the GFCI receptacle. And he's just turned on the circuit breaker, which wasn't very far from the receptacle. And there's the two green lights. That means correctly wired. And here's the GFCI test. The GFCI test passed for the GFCI. And now he's going to test out the standard receptacle, it passed regular wiring, and it passed the GFCI test. Sparky's done. Okay, Greg is working on his weatherproof cover. It's a different setup. He has a Hubble Tamac weatherproof cover. The seal-proof covers can be quicker to work with if you're familiar with them. Sparky had an advantage here in that his seal-proof cover had already been taken out of the package and it was ready to go. I think Greg would have finished before Sparky if he would have had the same setup with the weatherproof cover. Greg won't be testing his receptacles as that wasn't part of his competition. Also, this is only a small part of what Greg had to do. This is part of his second round competition and there's actually four rounds and this is just a small part of his second round. Sparky was able to just relax and work at his regular work speed while the competitors in this competition are under tremendous stress. So Greg is finishing up, screwing in the screws and getting it just the way he wants it. And he's taking a look at it and there it is. Greg's done. Okay, now it's time for you guys to be the judges. Now, don't worry about who finished first. That's not a big deal. Also, a lot of you probably noticed that Greg does not have the weather resistant receptacles. Please don't count him off for that because he had to work with the receptacles that he was given at the contest. Do make your judging about the wiring, how well the wires were fastened to the terminals, how the wires were handled, how the weatherproof covers were placed and handled, and if the receptacles are nice and straight in their covers. Please register your vote in the comments section. I'll put links in my video description 
for the ideal 1000 volt insulated screwdriver set, for ideal armor bands, for Leviton 20 amp weather resistant and tamper resistant GFCI receptacles and standard receptacles. I'll put a link for the Volt Claw. I want to give a shout out to my friend Warren. Those Volt Claws are really handy. I'll put links in my video description for the Tamac and the Seal Proof 2 Gang Weatherproof Covers. And I'll put a link for next year's Ideal Championship in case you want to enter. You know, give it a shot. And I want to give a shout out to Greg, who is a really, really good sport. And a super nice guy. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.